Hey guys, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I am planning for the week of August 27th. I am super excited. This is like a really fun and busy week. Um, I, it is back to school and it's actually first to school, my daughter's first week ever of uh, preschool. It's also um, my five year wedding anniversary, which I can't believe. I'm gonna be using a back to school kit. This is this amethyst kit from Station Stickers. I have this art, it's bloomsicle art in another kit, which I'm saving for my EC, um, but that I'm actually probably gonna use the week after this because I do have an uh, anniversary kit for my um, Erin Codron this coming week for like my memory spread. Um, just mixing things up, but I really, really wanted to use this, so hopefully I'll be able to bring over, bring in some of the leftover, leftover elements from this um, in the spread. This does have gorgeous rose gold foil. I did also grab some rose gold Simply Gilded. Like the nautical doesn't really match, but the colors really match from it, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do there. The flat, the fairy tale florals, and I think the Enchanted This Blue is like a little not navy enough, but it's a lot of close matches. Anyway, this is also um, my, I think it's my last week in these, um, in this insert, although I do have some blank pages because I did skip some weeks in there and then last week I accidentally planned in the wrong week. But so this is the Jesenia's week on four pages or three pages with the weekdays across here and the weekend and listing here. I am thinking about switching this up, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So I will see what I want to do. Um, I may be testing out some new inserts, etc. So really excited for that. So sorry for the abrupt cut over there. I had originally planned to do this as a talk through but I just like kept getting interrupted and it wasn't working so switching to voiceover mode it has been a minute since I've done a voiceover video but anyway I decided to use the date covers from the kit I thought they were super cute and I grabbed some rose gold foiled date dots from art box stickers I I'm so happy this kit makes me so happy I love the art on this I love this kit and I love rose gold you guys you know, I don't get to use it as much, but it is my favorite foil. Anyway, so then I grabbed this backpack school box, uh, full box, which was my favorite full box in this kit. It's so cute, and there's so many bows. Ugh, and then I grabbed some of the Simply Gilded Washi that is from the Nautical release, but it doesn't like have anything specifically nautical on it. And so I just thought it coordinated with this kit really well. Um, and then I'm gonna use two habit trackers this week. Um, one for like staying organized, and then one for um doing like teeth care um basically I want to either floss or use my water pick every day um I have some dental problems that were caused by my pregnancy um I had it both times around but anyway I didn't do like a super great job with that while we were away this summer so I need to like get back to like really taking care of them so I can like kind of reverse the damage that was done while I was pregnant like it's a, like a weird thing but your teeth can get kind of messed up from when you're being from when you're pregnant I'm actually not even the only person I know that this has happened to so it must be like a semi-common thing anyway I am also doing a happy mail tracker and then as well just putting some of the washi from the kit at the bottom and just doing a word of the week which is going to be hustle um this is my second to last week of maternity leave it is back to school gotta just finish all those projects up that we're trying to work on in the house and just get everything organized and so I can hit the run ground running when I get back to work. Um, so then I grabbed like the personal washi that comes with these kits um, and to run a lot along the bottom. I just thought that looked really cute and added like a little sparkle and I didn't really have like a bow that matched perfectly with this kit to use. So I did also want to use some of these glitter headers. I really like these colors and like just the chunky glitter look of them. Um, so I decided I actually am going to use like two sets per like two headers per day as usual, but I'm going to use like two glitter headers and just do the opposite in colors on the opposite in days, if that makes sense. So anyway, then Tuesday and Thursday, my daughter is in school. We don't have any nanny this week because last week was our nanny's last week. And um, this week I'm actually trying to hire a new nanny. But so anyway, so I'm giving myself full checklists for the days that my daughter has preschool, which is just Tuesday, Thursday, and then just three heart checklists, which I cut down um, for the days that she didn't. So then Tuesday is trash day. So I use that to measure where to put the second glitter header, but I'm actually going to do the foundation for the the weekend um, in advance of of doing the actual planning this time around. I actually think that worked really well. Um, 
for me. So hopefully, so maybe I'll do that again. Although I'm saying this, but I'm actually, I may not even be in these same inserts next week. I'm like, I'm going to be bringing back my hourly, um, and eventually doing plan with me soon that again for, for like work and that kind of stuff when I go back to work. So I was thinking I might want like a, just a slightly different, um, layout for, for my inserts, um, to like make it just like, a, I just feel like I'll need like slightly less space. And, um, anyway, I'm just experimenting with some new inserts. So we'll see what sticks. Um, so I did grab full boxes for the second sidebar and for the days on the weekend. I don't really use this planner quite as much on the weekend. Um, I actually cut down all of the ombre hair checklists, but then I realized I wanted some of them whole. So I just kind of like surgeried them back together. Um, I like to have like a list of notes for next week. Um, and then I decided to give myself two hearts on the weekend and use some of the Simply Gilded um, baby bows from the nautical set to um, to do like the the second header on the weekend. I love I do love that on this insert that you can like do something completely different on the weekend that you do during the week and it's not gonna like mess up your view. Anyway, this one I put down really horribly like this box that I cut in half. I also cut it really poorly, um, but that's okay. I'm just going to let it go. And then I'm just going to put a to buy header from the kit because I didn't have like a foiled script that said that. Um, all of those script words are from Rose Colored Days, by the way. Um, and then I just finished this out with like just a touch of washi. So this art actually had a lot of navy in it, but uh, the station stickers really focused more on like the purple and neutral tones, which I really like. And then the other kit that I have with this, which is from Scribble Krinsko, has like a lot more navy in it. So it's like fun and it makes them feel really different. Um, I just honestly, this was like one of my favorite arts that has come out this year and I am just really excited for my daughter to start school she like she's like all excited with her backpack and everything and anyway and she's like kind of used to it from camp but um yeah so anyway so then going day by day um on Monday I had like a bunch of phone calls that I needed to make like just like little quick phone calls like um so I just actually decided to give myself a three heart checklist and use that little cell phone icon from the kit. And then on Friday, I knew that it was going to be our cleaning people were going to be here. And then my husband was actually going to take my car in the afternoon. So I wasn't going to have a car. So I wanted to mark that in. And then I am going to just put in all my videos for the week as well. Um, this is going to go up late on Monday night. It's Monday now and I'm recording this voiceover and then I will post this. Um, and then on Thursday, I'm going to have a haul. And then on Saturday, I I was thinking it was going to be a memory spread, but it may be my September monthly. Um, I'm just, I'm not sure yet. So we'll see what happens. We'll be one or the other. Um, and then anyway, Thursday is, um, or Tuesday is my daughter's first day of school. Sorry, I'm going super out of order. I like, sometimes I just do this. I accidentally skip Monday. Um, I don't know what happened, but anyway, Tuesday is my daughter's first day of school. Super exciting. Um, that script is from Rose Colored Days as well. And then I have, um, like a phone date with one of my friends who lives out of town. Um, so I'm going to call her in the morning while my son is napping. So I just put down like a little clock reminder for that. Um, cause I had already used the phone icon on, um, on Monday. And then as well, I want to work on like some office stuff, um, and TN stuff. So I just put in that little printer and then I also wanted to, um, pick up a calendar, uh, for my gym class for like the gym, the class schedule, but I actually found it online today anyway. So I don't need to do that anymore. Or I can say that I already did it. So check that off. Anyway, then on Monday I had a nanny interview and then I also need to do meal prep and pack my daughter's lunches for school. And as well, I had some computer work to get done during nap time. So then on Wednesday, I wanted to remember to do like some design, some foil stickers that I need to do like my September monthly. I was going to, I'm going to try and make them myself. Um, anyway, so I wanted to just leave in a note from that. We are going to go to story time at the library. And then I, as well, I have another nanny interview, um, in the morning as well. So on Thursday, my daughter has school again, the school scripts I used from rose colored days, but that library one is actually a custom from station stickers. Um, 
that I use that. And oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but those bows on my videos are from Artbox stickers. Um, how cute are those? I absolutely love them. And they just have like a hint of foil. Anyway, then I also, I think that's a laundry basket, but that's what I'm using it for. So I was just giving myself a little two heart checklist for laundry on Thursday. And then as well, I need to tidy up before the cleaning people come. On Friday. So then on Friday, we are going to probably go to story time at the library as well. And that was all I had to put down. And I, so I like to have another full box on the front page. So I decided to just go ahead and put that down. And then I just like wanted to give myself some more reminders since this was like pretty much all the way filled up. So on Wednesday, I was going to pay the bills, some bills, but I actually ended up doing that today. Um, and then as well on Thursday, I need to remind myself to wrap a present. We have a birthday party this weekend. Um, and then I grabbed some munchkins from Once More With Love for the school drop off. How cute is that sticker? And some library wants story time ones as well. So then on to Saturday, um, Saturday is actually my husband and I's fifth year wedding anniversary. So exciting. Um, and we are going out for a date. When I was doing this, I thought we were going to go to the movies, but we actually just decided to go out to dinner instead because there wasn't anything we super wanted to see. Um, but anyway, I'm going to use a date night sticker and it doesn't bother me that that's a movie marquee because like I feel like a date night is more than worthy. It's like half box worthy, but it's like more than half box worthy. And then, like I said, we have a birthday party on Saturday. So I grabbed the balloons from the kit and then I just wanted to give it a little something, something. So I grabbed a new uh, clear bow from Scribble Prince Co for that and a munchkin as well. So then on Saturday, I'm going to put down a half box and mark like right in that it's our wedding anniversary, even though our wedding anniversary is actually on Saturday, but I didn't have space and I didn't really need like that much stuff on to mark down for Sunday. So I'm just like going to go ahead and put that in there. Um, you know, like I said, this is more like, like a, uh, to do listing and basic pre-planning. Um, so I don't like, I didn't super love going back in with stickers like I did last week, so I just wanted it to be all the way filled out. So anyway, then on Sunday, also hopefully we'll be able to do some planning to plan for the week ahead. Um, and that was deco from the kit. And then as well, it's had a, a drop of space left, so I just put a stack of books icon, and I'm going to mark that as relax and read, um, which is a nice thing to do on a Sunday night. Anyway, then I just trimmed down that half box uh, that full box to put in the empty space on Wednesday. And I am going to finish the spread out with some of the absolutely adorable deco from this kit. I just love all of the deco from this kit. I actually, I think I even bought some of this art when Bloomsicle was having the sale. So I'm probably going to use some of this in my back to work setup on in my new TN, even though I'm going to be going back to work, not to school, but same difference. Anyway, um, that is everything. Okay, that is everything all filled out. Guys, I am so here for this. This was like, this is Bloomsicle art and it was like honestly one of my favorite arts that has come out this year. I'm so happy that I have a back to school to celebrate. I can't wait to use my other kit in this art. I'm just super feeling it. Hopefully it didn't film too weird since I started doing talk through but had to switch to voiceover. There were just too many kiddo and husband interruptions going on. Um, so here is my first page like filled out. I decided to do like the full sticker format again this week, but I also just like have a really busy week. So it was pretty easy to just like fill in the couple of random leftover spaces. And here is my second space. Um, I actually did all of my writing in a pen gem this week, which is so exciting. Um, mine is actually, oh, this is my darling. It's a little bit scratched up. It's one of my favorites. Um, and it's one of the ones I keep in this planner. And this one has a uh, zebra uh, refill in it, which is like a gel refill so I love the way that this writes so I've been writing with this quite a bit um, lately I do need to like try and take a little bit better care of my pen gems um, work on how I store them etc but anyway I'm just uh, I'm this kit the art makes me so happy I can't believe it's back to school I can't believe it's my daughter's first year of school I mean like preschool let's be real but um, still adorable anyway I have this bow from blush blow boutique that I'm gonna pop in I think the peach looks really nice with this kit even though like I'm still in a gold setup and this kit is like super rose gold but that is okay I also have this gorgeous studio signet bookmark and like the color on this which is lilac matches perfectly as well and this is like a little purple bow um so anyway this one 
I'm gonna like loop this. I usually kind of like loop it around um, multiple pages, um, just like I like the way it lays better if you do that, but like bringing it to my main page, if that makes sense. And then I'll, this is the last page in this insert, so it's like way too clip to, thick to clip everything, but I do have this Kanko XOXO Jumbo White, although I guess I could grab a rose gold one of that, but I didn't. Anyway, I, if this is your back to school week too, you know, good luck with that and everything. I feel like it probably is like a lot of people's, at least in the South, like last week, this week, and next week are like big back to schooling, I think. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it, oh, actually before that, let me show you what I have left in the kit. Um, so I have some washi, I used most of the deco. There are like these little hearts, which are really cute, but. I was like not picking them all out. Um, I have the bottom washi. I have like a chunk of the icons left. I did use a lot of them. Um, I have all the little things and I did use the date covers. I have two and like a third full box left. You know how it is. And like um, one and a third uh, weekly ombre, a little bit of glitter, a couple of full boxes, etc. And then this page um, was cut like not fantastically, like I had a little trouble getting the stickers up, but not enough to damage the kit or like complain about. So it was just a little hard to peel them up. That's why this looks like this, but I did use a lot of those like squared off quarter boxes and a handful of headers, etc. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at MyCraftyPlans to keep up with everything going on my planners. Bye!